Today I'm doing a modeling tutorial, and because uh, I haven't made a tutorial in a while, but um, I started off modeling about I think it was two years ago, and uh, this has gotten me this far. I'll just show you a model that I have made. Uh, here it is. Uh, if you guys really stick to Blender, this is the sort of work that you can achieve. So um, I'm gonna go straight into the t tutorial to try and save time. Uh, I'm also with Aaron and Perry. Yo! Hey guys. Hey, and uh, okay, what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna file new. Right, uh, as soon as you start, what you wanna do, you wanna delete your camera and your light, uh, and you wanna go to side view. <coughs> okay, view, background Boo. image, <laughs> use the background image and set the blend to zero so the uh, you can really see the picture as easy as you can. And uh, what you wanna do then is go to your file where your picture is. Uh, if I just quickly find it okay here we go alright now what you want to do is uh, you want to get the cube uh, right click on the cube and uh, m put it on top of your uh, gun on the picture and you want to press Z or Z it depends if you're American or not <laughs> Sector. <laughs> Sector. <laughs> yep. and, uh, Okay, S to scale it down uh, to suit your the size of the thing, and what you want to do is if I press S and then uh, Y, it does that on the Y axis, so I can just make it smaller. Okay, now go into edit mode by pressing Tab, and deselect everything by pressing A, and you can select everything by pressing A again. Press B and then drag it over the vertices that you want to select and drag it down using the blue arrow and then press A to deselect and B to go over the things you want and move it and uh, this is pretty much how you get this done <coughs> so I'm just gonna finish this part of the gun just by really quickly doing this uh, Aaron I know there's something you want to say so say it now while I'm doing something <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Oh, I've been holding it in for ages. <laughs> and I've allowed you to uh, do it. Okay. Thank you, dude. Uh, it increases poly count, but just to save time, if you press K and loop cut, uh, you can add these in here. So you can just do that. So if I do that twice. Uh, Which one's loop cut? Loop cut is um, basically you can, like, if it makes sense, you can cut, like, say, a cube in half. Uh, right. Uh, I really poorly explained it there um trying to think of a good way that i can explain it so imagine you've got a cube which is um six faces yeah yeah and you loop cut it through the middle it then yeah. has, it, the, it then has 12 faces so you can model it a little bit more ah uh, nice good understand. well explained that was pretty good amen if i had a hat i'd take it off <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and as you can see here, I've got the first part of the body done, but as you can see, it looks 3D. Uh, you don't have to do this, it does incredibly increase the poly count, but if you go to Add Modifier and click Bevel, uh, as you can see, it does that, if I just size that up. Beveling basically makes everything a lot <coughs> smoother, gives everything a lot smoother edge, and uh, you can just do that and click Apply, so then you've got that really cool looking uh, smooth shape. Uh, I don't like setting smooth, it's not as good, but if I just quickly do this for everything. As you can see, I've added a new cube here. Uh, instead of just modeling the whole gun with one cube, we're going to model it with uh, different cubes. So if I was just to rotate this and fit it to my liking. Uh, okay, one sec. Okay. And then if I was to drag this up here. You'll see what I'm trying to do as the uh, video progresses, but, okay, uh, if I just move that back here, okay, move that down, I swear to god if my dad comes in and talks to me, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> <laughs> it always happens during tutorials, it's nuts. That is so, when we was doing the world video, he came in and had to, had to speak with me, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, right guys, as you can see here, I'm sort of like, going cube after cube. Uh, so, and guys, I really am. Uh, this is Aaron and Perry now. I really am sorry that you can't actually see what uh, I'm doing. But okay, another so thing. Press no G worries. for grab so you can move it the cube. So you can do that. 
I always use that tool. It's very helpful for me. Uh, okay, if I just move that up. If this model goes well, I might actually use it in my game. Nice. Awesome. Uh, mainly because that's how I roll. Good man. <laughs> I haven't it's actually done a YouTube tutorial in ages. People, I, I have like over 200 views per video. It's nuts. <laughs> It's good, man. It's very good. Thank you. It's excellent. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Seriously though. Seriously though. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do here, I think, is. <coughs> oh no, I don't have to. Don't worry. Oh wait, I do. Okay. I'm just gonna add a little bit of detail here. Uh, okay, if I just select B and go there, uh, <coughs> if I just go into thing, uh, scale on the X axis and go down like so. <coughs> People are talking in my house. <laughs> if you, if, sorry if you can hear those. Uh, can't hear no. a thing, mate. Good, because <laughs> not in my life they will come in like, oh, and I'll be like, fuck. <laughs> oh, I swore. Damn, you don't mind bad language, do you? No, it's cool. Good. <laughs> How could you? <coughs> Jokes. I was I was trying to trying to uh, not swear this whole video and it just happened to pop out. It's cool. We're all human. Good man. Uh, well, I assume we are. <laughs> I should hope we are. <laughs> <laughs> one set. They're calling me now. <laughs> oh no! One set. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> okay. Sam said hi. Okay, cube. And basically what I'm doing here, I'm just building up using a variety of different cubes. Uh, so, cubes are like the best thing ever. So... Gotta love cubes. Oh, gotta love them, yeah. So... Any questions so far, Perry? Even though you nope, can't. you're doing a really good job. Thank you. Meow. Whoa, Wait, dear. he's back. <laughs> 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 I am back. Sorry, I had to go there. My bad. That is cool. But uh, how's it going? What are we up? To? Where are we up to? Uh, I'm actually quite far into the gun. Quality. What are we making? I forgot. Uh, I'm making an assault rifle for blackout. Well, it's kind of like that's the plus. You see, I get to make a gun for blackout, and I also get to do a tutorial at the same time. Nice. That is cool. Sweet. So that is pretty awesome. See, a new said guys can't multitask. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, uh, so yeah, I'm still going over everything here and just doing it. This video is probably going to be like two parts. Can anyone hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. It's like you know, you know, like when you're recording and you can hear like a fuzziness on the mic from like the surround, picking up the surroundings on the camera. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's it like stopped. So. <laughs> Weirdness. Weirdness, yes. Oh, it might be because I muted my mic. That probably uh, is it. Uh. Yep, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> thought it might be. Okay, guys. Um. Now we're Yo. gonna add in the muzzle, so cylinder. Uh, it starts off 32 vertices by um, default, but I always go 15 because it looks right. pretty similar and it's like half the polys. So uh, sweet man. Another good awesome. command that you can use is in fact uh, Shift D, and right. that copies the uh, whatever it is that you've selected. So that's a really helpful tool. Nice man. Sweet. Okay, this is actually coming along quite nicely. <coughs> so yeah, uh, um, if I was to go and do, what shall I make next? Let's have a look. Uh, I'll finish the front of the gun before I do anything else. Right, to save me pressing spacebar. Oh crap! That's what I forgot to go over. Press <laughs> press spacebar, add mesh, and then do whatever to select uh, planes if you guys didn't already know that uh, sorry about that uh, I don't think I did but I might have you never know I don't really know <laughs> what I'm talking about to be honest 
by the way, um, Aaron is my script, the one t that goes meow. He yeah, that's me. <laughs> my bad. in fact, my scripter for, well, one of two scripters for Divinity, uh, which is a thing that I'm working on. It's a, it's a game channel that we've, where we work on games. Yeah. <laughs> we sure do. Because <laughs> that's how we roll. Uh, it is how we roll. Hmm. I, I assume that's how we roll. It is how we roll. Cool. So as you can see, this is quite low poly so far. It's only 500 faces, which is enough for Blender. But I'm making this tori tutorial in the hope that someone that uses things like Unity. Uh, Unity is a very good free game engine for anyone wanting to do professional games. It's amazing. Uh, it is incredibly powerful. Uh, and uh, if you ever need any help, just tell them they can ask me because I'm quite nice and I will help them, by the way. Good. Just saying. Well, they can hear you, so you just said it for yourself, mate. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that's probably true. I don't know why I did that, actually, you know? So, yeah, if there's anyone out there that feels like uh, they need help, just, just, you know, just message me, well, or message Dan, just say, yo, need help, sort of thing, you know? State that you need help, <laughs> and I'll... And I'll Help. You'll come running like a guy <laughs> on Baywatch. Yes. Yes, That's I'll be hot. the half. The half. Except I won't take. I won't become an alcoholic and eat loads. Yeah, and he won't run in slow mo because if you need help, he'll go as fast as he can. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll just speed it up a bit. Yeah. So yeah, it will just be. I'll technically be running in slow mo, but we'll just times ten it or something. Okay. One thing I may have forgotten to go over here is um, if you press S, uh, Y axis does that. X axis uh, does it, um, if I was to go into here, X axis does it that way, and the Z axis does it that way. Uh, sorry, I didn't go through that. I did say to do it, but I never said what it does. So, God, I'm terrible. Ah, oh, <laughs> I hate you. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. Pop goes the weasel. Sorry, I, I don't know why I said that. That was. <laughs> that was. Of me. <laughs> Genius. So true. I like Pop goes the weasel, okay? Sorry. This has turned into a commentary tutorial. Yeah. It normally does when we start talking, doesn't it? Let's yeah. be honest. <laughs> That's what makes it so fun. Yeah. It is pretty fun. It is. Fun. 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 Yeah, but as as you guys can see, I'm just really going over this. Um, <clears throat> re recently, I'm even doing um, game update commentaries, which is odd. Oh, no. That is odd. It is odd. <laughs> odd. That's why we're all repeating yeah, each other. Because well, <laughs> we're cool. <laughs> Duh. We are we are the coolest people around. 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 Do. Birds suddenly appear every time. <laughs> Genius. I know, right? You can count on me for the stupid songs. But yeah, I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. Uh, even if you don't <laughs> see it as a tutorial, but see it more as a um, thing. That's the best way I can describe it. As a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing. Thing indeed. Indeed a thing. A thing indeed. Thing. Right. This has become like a really silent tutorial. Anything you guys want to <laughs> add? Maybe any tutorials for future or? Nah, got nothing. Um, Unless I promote my own channel. <laughs> do do it. No, I'm not gonna. Don't I'm, do it. I'm cooler than that. Right, this video may be more than two parts, but um. Okay, so I've showed you guys beveling. I've showed you guys uh, loop cutting. Copying, pasting, sizing. I've pretty much covered basics. Um, let me see. Uh, I believe. 
Aaron has just muted his mic again.